um, Lieutenant J.G. Stephanie Ben, serving on the USNS Comfort. My job while I'm here is I'm a Navy Reserve nurse, and currently I'm working in this um, hospital tent behind me. Um, when patients come in on the ambulance, we determine whether they have been tested for COVID-19. If they have no COVID test on record, then they come in this tent, we test them for COVID-19, and that determines where we place them um, for care on the ship. It takes about 45 minutes, and they're hoping to get something to shorten that time frame. But by the time we do the test, time it, it's ran to the lab up on the ship, up on the 01 deck, which is a ways up. Um, and then for that to process with all the other labs and come back to us, it's about an hour and a half. So we get some, some good time down here with them to kind of explain what's going on and make them more comfortable with the process. Um, one of our patients that came in was not really sure where she was at. Um, she was scared. She had a uh, bad appendix and she was getting some IV treatment for that at a hospital but was moved to us um, for continuing care. Um, she was an unknown COVID-19 so we placed her in our tent, we explained the process and explained to her that um, we were going to continue to take care of her um, but we needed to know her COVID-19 status to know and determine where to place her on the ship. Um, she was unaware that um, the ship was here in New York City and um, she was very scared about being positive um, and what was going to happen to her so I sat down with her and explained everything and um, we found out she, she was negative so we placed her on the ward that was a negative COVID-19 ward for her to continue to get her IV antibiotics so then she could hopefully go home soon and um, she was thrilled to find out she was negative and was pretty tearful, which, you know, is emotional for us too because we know they're scared. So explaining it to her, she was very appreciative and um, she's getting her care continued. One of our patients that came in had been um, hit by a motorcycle, had fractured his wrist, um, wondered what we were all doing in army fatigues and when I explained to him that we were Navy nurses and foremen um, taking care of patients from the overflow of the hospitals um, he was very appreciative he said that he didn't realize that this was where he was going and that he could possibly even have surgery on the ship so they were able to fix his wrist um, and cast it and yesterday we saw him come to the discharge tent and we were able to go and wish him well and he was very appreciative and said that he has a great story to tell from here on out about his time here. Yes, I did, I did volunteer. Um, I, was, I feel quite honored and humbled to be here and to be able to do my part to help combat this virus because I feel as a nurse that this is our frontline experience with the war on this virus and the support from the community, how we were received here in New York City, coming into the harbor, and just from the patients who are just so thankful to have care. I'm just hoping that our time here is well spent and that we can make a difference.